Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. We've got a couple of interesting processes we want to show you today. We've got one machining process that you may be interested in and also we've got this come back in. So guys, if you can remember the engine we did just before Christmas for the Mini, the 1275 engine for our, our friend Ben. Nice horn, mate. Um, he's bought his Mini back in. He's done 250 miles and it's coming for a check over. It's actually got a little leak on the rocker cover gasket, which is that terrible cork gasket. So we're going to get rid of that. He's got a modified rubber gasket we're going to put on there and we're going to run through the the tappet clearances it's a, it's a little bit more of a heavy tappet than we'd like so we're just going to check those um, but this is the car guys it's absolutely stunning um beautiful wheels on it but this is his baby so we've got to take extra care in this i know he's took lots of photos before he's left it with us he dropped it off um friday and he's gonna pick it up today. So lots of photos, so to be sure that we're extra careful, but this is the engine in the bay. It looks absolutely stunning with that ITG filter on it. And not a, not a drop of water and oil anywhere, apart from that bit that's um, sort of leaking around the back area here and sort of running down the engine. Not much, but just, you know, it's enough to spoil it. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to take that terrible oil soaked cork gasket off and put the rubber one on there. But yeah, beautiful car, absolutely beautiful. So we're just going to adjust the tappets here. We've noticed that a couple of them are up around 20, 21 thou. Uh, this is a fast road high lift cam and they give about 15, 16 thou on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these because we've only done about 250 miles in the car, I'm going to set these about 15 thou, very slightly on the on the tighter side, of the tolerance, because um, it was a little bit tappy. So I'm hoping to do that and sort of quiet it down. So what we do, rock the engine until this is until the one you want to do is completely off the load. We've done these four already. So you see this one here, number five here is compressed. So what we do. Just pull the car until it's off the it's off the top of the low. And we pull it so it's so it's right off the top of the lobe and around the other side on the base bottom of the base circle and then we persist in adjusting it. So what we do, we've got the 15 thou feeler gauge here. Put that underneath and you see that's fairly tight that one. So what we're going to do is slacken the nut and slacken that off with a screwdriver. This N1 is about 21 thou. So because it's a fast road cam, it's meant to be about 15, 16 thou. So we'll do it on 15 thou. And do them one at a time. Right guys, so here we've got the S13 cylinder head. Now I did say to you um, last week that this head has supposedly gone through. The guides are all perfect and someone has cut the valves and the seats and refaced the cylinder head. But on first inspection, I said that there's a few marks on the cylinder and I'm not happy with the, with the finish. So I'm gonna give it a very light lick over. But also, if you can see here, Whoever's cut the seats, firstly, they've used a cutter that looks not very good. It looks like there's a few little chips out of the cutter, but they've, they've basically put a straight 45 degree angle on the seats. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the seats with a three-face cutter. Now, first of all, what we do is we 
we look at the valve. So this is an exhaust valve and these are the exhaust seats. So that is a 45 degree angle on that seat. Um, usually it's either 45 or 30 degree. Some of the inlets can be 30 degree, but may, most of the time the exhausts are 45. So as you can see, these inlets and exhausts have both got 45 degree. So what we do is to do the three face cut, we have actually got a cutter here which has got the three faces on it. So you've got the bottom angle, which is 60 degrees. You've got the 45 degree in the middle and you've got the 30 degree at the top. So to set this up for the valve size, what we do is we take a valve, we take this tool here and we put the valve in the tool holder. So we've put the valve in the tool holder and we have nipped it up from the back here. Now what we want to do is set this piece here right on the edge of the 45 degree. So you see that is right on the edge of the 45 degree and we tighten it up. Now the reason for that is, is we want the very outside of that 40 to 45 degree angle on the cutter in line with the outside of the valve then you know that the you're using all of the valve head on the seat and the seat isn't sitting too far in on the valve so now we've done that we're going to set this up on the on the guide and make sure that, that cutter is set so as you can see that tip now is right on the outside of that 45 degree angle so it's in between the 45 and the 30 as you can see and now we know when we do when we cut the seat we basically cut it down. First of all, it's gonna cut on the 60 degree inside, then the 45, and then it's when the 30 touches on the, on the valve seat, you'll be able to see. So that is what it's like before, and we've actually cut half of them already. So that's what it's like before. And that is what it's like when we've cut the seat. So if I try a valve in there, you'll see, now that should sit, that sits right on the outside of that, and that is perfectly in line. And then what we do is, you see the 30 on the outside, what you don't want to do is go too deep with the 30 that it pockets inside the head, and you don't want to go too shallow that you can't see the 30 so that's probably about a mil and a half of 30 on the top there and that is perfect if you go too deep you're just going to pocket the valve into the head too much um, if it's hydraulic it's going to take up too much of the hydraulic or if it's not hydraulic then you're going to be you're going to struggle to get the clearance um, on the buckets so that is perfect so we're going to continue to cut the rest of these yeah, so as you can see, we've got it running now and um, just tightening up those two or three clearances, four or five thou, which is actually quite a lot. It has quite a bit dried up now with the bonnet so you can hardly hear it, so that, which is how they're meant to be. So yeah, Ben's just turned up to pick it up. The car's lovely and um, yeah, hopefully he's happy. So there we go, guys. All the seats are cut now. See so the exhausts are cut there. The inlets are all cut. They all vacuum absolutely perfect, so no need for lapping them in. I'm just going to give this a light look over and then that head can be put back together as soon as we get the gaskets. Um, got the Evo Mitsubishi head here set up. We'll get the valves out of there and give that the same treatment with the three-face valve cutters. Um... So guys, hope you've enjoyed today's video. Um, tomorrow's video, I'm hoping that the oil jets will be here for this Cosworth block. So, and I can do a video on that. So we've set the Cosworth block up here. This is the 200 block that I've put the liners in. There's only one more machining process to do on that. And that is to put the oil jets in the base of the block here. So like the small turbo escort Cosworth blocks, you've got oil jets in here rather than the, the sort of Heath Robinson spray bar that goes on the pump. They just run a, a high pressure 
sort of basic pump, a bit like the Pinto pump. And then you've got the squirters in the bottom, which squirt oil up into the base of the pistons. So got my little kit here to do that. What I've, the first stage of setting this up is obviously upside down. You've got the main oil gallery down here. You see the ball. I line this drill up with the center of the oil gallery, rapid the, the bed over here and make sure it lines up here. And then we know that the block is square. So that is in the center. We then zero, zero the Z axis and um, or the Y axis, whatever that is, I forget which one that is. And then we know they're in the center of that oil gallery. So hopefully tomorrow, if we get the, the oil jets, um, I like to just get them first, make sure I sort of know where they're gonna go. And um, we've got to remove this plate and then we'll crack on with that and I'll show you how we do it. But thanks ever so much for watching guys. Remember, hit that subscribe button, comment down below and I'll see you in another video. Thanks a lot guys.